Andy's Man Club, um, to break it down to the simplest form, it's a talking group for men. Um, Andy's Man Club was set up back in 2016, um, following the death by suicide of a, of a lad called Andy Roberts, um, who was 23 um, at the time. Showed no signs of struggling. Had struggled a bit in his in his youth. Um, seemed to be on a good path, and then suddenly one one night went out and, and took his own life. Twelve men a day, or one man every two hours. So while we're here now, there'll probably be some man somewhere in the UK that takes their own life, sadly, um, which is an absolutely awful statistic. Um, so I'm under the age of fifty. So statistically, I'm more likely to die by my own hand than I am to die in a car accident or any any other way which <laughs> is just is just ridiculous is that, to think is that actually real is that true yeah, yeah. well that's yeah, mad it's, it's isn't it statistically the most that. most common for men under 50 that the, what, the biggest killer for them is, is it's themselves for themselves um, yeah that's a fucking sad state isn't it it's it is horrible. horrible Um so every group runs Monday night 7 till 9pm guys can come along uh, there's no requirement to, to sign up to it or to sort of go on a waiting list or or to be, even be referred to us the only requirements um for attending is you, you're a man and aged 18 or over so even though it is aimed at talking and getting people to to open up and, and talk about whatever they're going through there's no requirement to talk until they're ready we'll always have a guy outside or a couple of guys outside at the front door wearing andy's man club t-shirts or hoodies the biggest step for them is that first night walking through the door the first time Bugs around the room, five questions every week. Um, first three questions stay the same every week. So it's always a bit of an introduction and how's your week been? Second question, even if they've had the worst week possible, we try to get them to find a positive from the week. And then third question, which is generally the one that's the most time consuming of the night is anything they want to talk about or get off the chest. We like to say it's not top trumps. There's no, my problem is worse than your problem. It's it's whatever that person is is going through. Then we have a bit of a break, and then the last two questions, uh, they change every week. So they're a bit more light-hearted and positive. Got the rules of the group, um, no phones or sort of phones on silent or, or, or off, um, just for the respect to the group, really. We don't really want someone to be going into some deep share and then someone's ringtone goes off. What, when the ball goes around the room, while well, you've got the ball in your hands, that's your time to talk. The only topics we don't talk about, um, medication is one just because as facilitators, we're, we're peer-to-peer support. We're not trained to, to talk in that area. And politics and religion, we stay clear of those two, because um, two errors would go pretty quickly if we started going into that rabbit hole. Um, and really, whatever's said in the group stays in the group. So again, we, we just talk, just mentioned numbers at the end of the night. We don't report back on anything anyone has said as facilitators as well. So we'll start the night off with, with the rules and we'll, we'll come to question one. Um, we'll ask the question but then we also answer it as well so it's not so we also as much as we run the group first and foremost we're we're still users of the group as well so we still have stuff we have to get off our chest every week um and that i think settles any nerves because they can see that we even though we've got a t-shirt on we're part of the group as well <laughs>